Hi and welcome. My name is Johnny Fragan. I'm from All Total Coaching. What I want to talk to you today is about social desirability and why the media have got it wrong in the last major four or five polls. And what am I talking about? The Trump election in 2016, the Brexit, the state election in New South Wales, Australia, and the federal election that just happened recently. And why the polls are wrong. There's a, there's a phenomena called social desirability. And today, I'm going to prove to you how social desirability and what you hear in the media are totally two different things. And this is the why the media are failing dismally. And if today you believe mainstream media, well, obviously, you're not watching this channel. You should be watching cartoons and Hollywood movies, etc., etc. And love will conquer all, and you'll live in the scar stars in the skies or whatever. But before we start on this extremely important topic, I want to tell you, my dear friends, that amazing stuff is coming away on this channel. I'm going to talk about topics that very few people have got the balls to speak about. I will give it to you. I'll give it to you bluntly, without the fluff. So please subscribe to our channel, press the icon button so you can get notified as soon as our videos will be released. I'm going to very, very soon release instead of one video a week, I'm going to be releasing two videos a week. So please subscribe and stay tuned because I promise you, my dear friends, I'm here to help you. Like I said many, many times, as long as you give me your hand, I'll pull you out of the abyss. That's all I'm asking of you. So, before we start, I'd like to talk about a book that is on sale now in the unedited version. How to be a man, what your father never taught you, it's $20 US. Once this book will be published, you can add $5 and you get the edited version. What do we talk about in this book? We talk about man, what is a man, how to be a man, women relationships and sex, media manipulation, indoctrination via the movies, health, food and exercise and why. It's so important. Wealth, what you need to know and what you're not taught at school. Value, what is it and why it's so important. How to overcome the biggest phenomenon depression and fear where I've said many times where eight people commit suicide a day in Australia and by the way I have proof to that happiness and fulfillment family fa feminism and the real truth family court false accusations how to be social building great network keep up how to maintain your relationship and some of the rules that will save your life so today we're going to talk about social desirability why did the media in the US and in Australia and in England get the Trump election wrong, the Brexit wrong, the New South Wales state election wrong, and recently the federal election where the Australian people re-elected Scott Morrison. But why? Why? Today I'm going to explain to you a phenomenon that's called social desirability. I work with a friend of mine, a great, great friend of mine that I look up to, one of my mentors, and he explained to me this phenomenon quite a while ago, but I didn't understand it. But now it's making sense. So I'd like to share this with you. If you sit in a room with 20 people, and I show you two pens, and I ask you a question, which pen is longer than the other? So you'll be looking at the two pens, and you probably will say this one, because you can look at it and you can see that this pen is longer because you have no social pressure. But what happens if now you are by yourself and now we have 20 people? We show the pen to everybody and everybody says the opposite. The more people say that not this pen is bigger, this pen, the more you're going to doubt your decision. But what happened? You are 100% sure a couple of minutes ago that this pen is longer. Why are you doubting yourself? Because we are susceptible to social pressure. And the more people say that this pen is bigger than this one, the more and more and more you'll doubt your decision to a position where you'll change your mind. Not because you want to, because of social pressure. Let me explain another example. If I buy shoes for $20, because I just bought them in the market before they're cute, cool. And everybody comes and tells you, oh, John, wow, look at these shoes, they're amazing, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, I'm really proud of myself, you know? Do you think I'm going to tell people I bought it for twenty dollars? What do you think? How much? Ah, oh, two hundred fifty. But what? 
because I'm proud of my shoes. So what's happened? The public opinion has shifted my opinion of these shoes being 20 bucks to being far more desirable and far more valuable. So I'm gonna say, ah, oh, no, how much you pay? Ah, it doesn't matter, man. Well, I just bought them, it looks good. But let's change the sequence. You bought shoes for $250 or whatever. And everybody criticizes you. You thought that the best thing since sliced bread, that's why you paid so much money or whatever. But then everybody criticizes you. And the more people criticize you, the less value you put on those shoes, and the less value you put on the shoes, the less more than likely you're not going to wear them, or more than likely you're giving them to St. Vincent de Paul and one of the charities. But why? What has changed in these shoes? It's your perception because of social pressure. And social pressure, if you don't understand social pressure, you are going to be influenced by the people. By, by. So where am I going with this? It's very simple. When you sit in a room of 20 people, and today because the media is hijacking the agenda, the feminist agenda, and uh, the, the political correctness, when you sit in a room of 20 people, and at least six or seven say, ah, oh, Labour is good, liberals are bad, or whatever, the left is fantastic, the right is bad, or whatever. A lot of people that actually think the opposite will not voice their opinion. They will say, oh, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, labor, 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 yeah, yeah. So the majority of people in the room will supposedly accept. So that's what happened in the polls. In the polls, what's happened is one thing. When they picked up the phone and rang people, they said they're going to vote for labor or for Hillary or they're going to go against Brexit or they're going to go against the state government in New South Wales. But when it came to the poll, because we are by ourselves. We have no social pressure. Most people voted for liberals. And that's why Scott Morrison had got elected, re-elected, and the state government in New South Wales got re-elected, and the Brexit happened the way it happened, and that's why Trump got elected at the same time. Because when you put people in social group, they say one thing, but when they were by themselves, they could think independently. They decided to vote for Trump. It's the same thing with the pen. Example. If I put you independently, you will say that this pen is bigger than this one. But because I put you in a group, you're doubting your decision. But if you go by yourself and you start looking at the two pens independently, without the pressure, you're going to measure it and realize that this one is longer. You're no longer under pressure of the group because you are thinking independently, because you took the time to actually look at the two pens, and then you made an independent decision. And this is why the polls are a scam. All polls are a scam. The, the best joke in Australia is how Channel 9, Channel 7, all predicted Bill Shorten to be the next Prime Minister. I'm not going to give my opinion about Bill Shorten here, because it's irrelevant, but you probably can gather from what I'm saying what my thoughts on, on this issue. But that's irrelevant. I just This video is mainly about social desirability. Think about it. You're dating a man or a woman, and she's a scorch left, but you still like her. You'll agree with her, the, her thoughts, or vice versa. If the man is totally right, and you're left, because you really like him, you may agree, but deep inside, you can still keep those thoughts. And this is what social desirability and why the polls have failed and will fail and will fail again because people don't understand social desirability that people say one thing in a group but when they're by themselves in the poll by themselves they have no pressure I can tell you one thing if there was cameras on all these people the left would have won but because there's no cameras, you're by yourself. You're making an independent decision where you're looking at the two pens and you can say, yes, this pen is longer than this one. Because you have no pressure. And this is why I want you to think for yourself. Independently. So you think outside the box. Because the majority of people today are sheep. And you, my dear friends, if you're watching this channel, you're already not part of the sheep. You know why? Because you're thinking outside the box. And remember, my dear friends, I'm here to help you. Please subscribe to our channel, 
click the icon be uh, button. We have amazing videos coming up soon, especially on dating, on breakup, on state of mind, on how to walk, how to talk, on confidence, things that will blow you away. What have you got to lose? A book is on sale also for $20, the unedited version. Once the edited version will come into effect, you have $25. But at the same time, we have a whole program for men for $99, all links below. Thank you very much for taking your time and listening to us. Look us up at www.alltotalcoaching.com. I can change your life. The question is, do you want to, or are you going to keep making the same decision again and again and again, expecting a different result? And most people's problems today is because they can't concentrate. They procrastinate. Please look at that video we did just a few weeks back on how to kill procrastination. That will help you achieve things beyond your purpose, beyond your vision, so you can be a better human being. Thank you very much for listening. As always, you know what? I'm your friend, Johnny Fabian.